Hey everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Brandon Walton. Today we're going to be doing Salesforce training live from Port Orchard here on the Puget Sound. Before jumping into our session, I'd like to say a big thank you to the Freedom Boat Club of Port Orchard. Freedom Boat Club is an awesome boating membership program with over 300 locations in the US, Canada, and Europe. Today, Freedom Boat Club has provided me with this Cypress K pontoon boat, fully gassed and ready for me to enjoy the entire day out here on the Puget Sound. If you are interested in joining the Freedom Boat Club, contact Sarah Mulligan and be sure to let her know that Brandon sent you. I will include her direct contact information in the details of this video. Now, let's jump right in. In this session, we're going to talk about best practices around email deliverability inside of Cardot, particularly when we are sending from different sending domains. Little fun fact is Pardot or Marketing Cloud Account Engagement allows you to create multiple email sending domains for sending our email messages from the platform. Now, a couple of things. You can see here on our list, we've got our main cypresslearning.com domain. The main sending domain works great when we're looking to send a follow-up, maybe a nudge or an autoresponder outreach from a specific representative from our team. Because it's our main domain, we do want to have some of our branding, some of our marketing messaging come from this main domain. However, one of the things that we've started realizing over the years is that particularly when it comes to sending large newsletter style list emails, some of the more popular services start sending our domain to the promotions folder. So in order to protect our main email sending domain, what we're going to do is send from an alternative email sending domain. So in this case, we'll take a look at cypress.courses. This is a special domain that we have set up just for sending out promotional emails for our upcoming boot camps. If we jump into a list email inside of Pardot, we'll go ahead and just configure something basic for now for demonstration purposes. We're going to select a template, apply it, now, normally you'll want to test a template before sending, but for the purposes of today's session, we are just going to jump right into the sending tab. So if we send from a general sender, notice how we're able to put um, any email address in here. Now we can include any alias we'd like. And as long as we have a domain that's authenticated inside of Pardot, so the domain is everything after this at sign here, we'll be able to send a list email from Pardot without impacting our primary domain. This is very helpful to give you some variance when you're sending your marketing messages out. It's also very helpful when you want to segment different types of messages that might come from your team or your business. It works well for larger teams that might have different departments uh, and you'll want to brand marketing differently or even if you're operating under different sub-brands. It's good to know that you can add as many email sending domains as you want to have, uh, to have successful email deliverability without impacting your primary domains. I hope this was helpful for you. This is Brandon again, live from the Puget Sound. Happy part auditing or marketing cloud account engagement. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.